This is Robert St. John in the NBC newsroom in New York. Ladies and gentlemen, we may be approaching a fateful hour. All night long, bulletins have been pouring in from Berlin claiming that D-Day is here, claiming that the invasion of Western Europe has begun. Uh, let me read you several of the latest bulletins. One says that a report, unconfirmed by allied sources, of course, says that heavy fighting is taking place between the Germans and invasion forces on the Normandy Peninsula, about 31 miles southwest of La Havre. Another bulletin, also from Berlin Radio and unconfirmed, says that British-American landing operations against the western coast of Europe from the sea and from the air are stretching over the entire area between Cherbourg and La Havre, a distance of about 60 miles. I repeat, there is no confirmation. And here's another bulletin just in. Day NB, the German agency says, uh, this is unconfirmed, that the most important airdromes in the area of the Normandy Peninsula of France have been wiped out. Now, I presume that means wiped out by the Allies. Uh, as you may have heard on earlier broadcasts, all three German news agencies have begun broadcasting uh, these stories that the invasion is here. But there is no Allied confirmation as yet. The first report came out shortly after midnight, and since then we've been flooded with reports from Berlin. Paris Radio, strangely enough, has not confirmed any of these reports. Uh, and now we have just been informed that we can expect, in a very few seconds, in a very few seconds, a very important broadcast from the British capital. And so now we take you to London. The text of communique number one will be released to the press and radio of the United Nations in ten seconds. Repeat, ten seconds from now. Under the command of General Eisenhower, Allied naval forces, supported by strong air forces, began landing Allied armies this morning on the northern coast of France. The communique will be repeated. Under the command of General Eisenhower, Allied naval forces, supported by strong air forces, began landing Allied armies this morning on the northern coast of France. This ends the reading of communique number one from Supreme Headquarters, Allied Expeditionary Force. Ladies and gentlemen, this is New York, NBC Newsroom again. Men and women of the United States, this is a momentous hour in world history. This is the invasion of Hitler's Europe. The zero hour of the second front. The men of General Dwight Eisenhower are leaving their landing barges, fighting their way up the beaches into the fortress of Nazi Europe. They are moving in from the sea to attack the enemy under a mammoth cloud of fighter planes, under a ceiling of screaming shells from Allied warships. The first news flashes do not say, but a large proportion of this assault is believed to be in the hands of American men. They are making the attack side by side with the British Tommies who were bombed and blasted out of Europe at Dunkirk. Now, at this hour, they are bombing and blasting their way back again. This is the European Front, once again being established in fire and blood, not only by the Americans and British, but by many allies in the fight against Axis aggression. 